So today we're going to be making a bit of beef jerky. Uh, I've been doing this for over a decade now. Uh, really enjoy making it and enjoy eating more to be honest. Uh, okay so this is a bit of brisket. Uh, it's some of the best stuff to make it out of in my opinion. Uh, just got to take a little bit of the fat cap off and you can see all the little striations and everything in there makes it really really pullable and chewable it's great okay let's continue okay so I'm using a nice sharp knife to take all the string off this is how I get it from the butchers uh, this is a full kilo 2.2 pounds and it cost me around eight pounds if I remember correctly uh, a brisket is usually made up of some quite flat pieces of meat so it's almost the right shape already uh, so here you can see me just taking off all the fat and all the all the horrible bits and uh, yeah it's just a matter of cutting it into the strips that you want some people like it a little bit thicker thinner um, me somewhere in the middle um, only because I don't want to dry it for too long because I'm hungry So we're nearly done, so what I'm going to do now is clean up and make the area ready to do the marinade. Can't wait for that bit. Okay for this bit you're going to need quite a large bowl and what we're going to do for the marinade is soy sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, some liquid smoke if you want to, some hot paprika, garlic granules and a little bit of honey. There you get your umami, your sweet, your sour, you've got a bit of everything there and of course a little bit of smoke if you haven't got a smoker. What we're going to do with this one is we are going to do it in the oven uh, so it's a very easy recipe for everyone to be able to do and the only reason I'm doing it like that is because my dehydrator is broken and I'm waiting for a new one to turn up. I don't really go into measuring this too much, uh, just as long as there's a nice amount in the bottom there. You, you, you'll figure it out as you go along. The only thing I would suggest is don't push too much smoke in. The only reason I say that is because a little bit goes a hell of a long way. So after mixing it all with the whisk, uh, we start putting the meat in. Uh, I usually put it in a few bits at a time, just because I want to cover everything. You know, get it in there, push it in, make sure every single surface is coated.
and now you, everything's in the marinade what you need to do is cling film and put it in the fridge uh, you can do this for a couple of hours three hours overnight it's up to you I only think you need a couple of hours to be honest Okay, so out the fridge it comes. Uh, what I've done, I put some paper towels down. Uh, this is just to get everything off it, basically dry it off a little bit before we put it in the oven. The best method for any drying is to put it on a wire rack. That gives a lot of circulation all the way around. You'll see on this one, I'll do most of it on the wire rack, but because I did too much in one go, and I haven't got to the wire rack at the moment, I had to put some on an old pizza tray. Okay, so it's not ideal, but it will still do the job. So what I'll do is I'll put the oven on just a pilot light basically. Uh, I've got an electric oven and at this level it will go up to about 90 degrees which is just like a hot day, a really hot day. So it will dry it rather than cooking it. I usually like to go in and check the temperature maybe every hour or so. Uh, that's just because I like seeing the process and like seeing how it's drying. Uh, for this, I probably did four hours and I checked it about three or four times. As you can see on the bottom tray, you can see how much fluid it loses. Um, this is a very, very dry one. Uh, more because I like it that way and I like to store it for a bit longer. And there you go, a mountain of beef jerky. Uh, this one I really liked. It, it, it turned out nice and dark. It's got a molasses -y sort of thing going on with it. Uh, you can taste all of the herbs and spices I put in there. You can taste the smoke. It was fantastic. Well, thank you for watching. I don't just do cooking, but a bit of everything. I like to learn how to do things. I love cleaning, repairing old antiques. I love making things out of a variety of materials and showing other people. If it helps even a little, that's awesome. Please like and subscribe for more content. <laughs>